What's going on everyone? This is Fred, Fredian.com. It's been a while, but I am back with my DIY gem style guitar kit. And today, we're going to take a look at how to prepare for paint. Alright, so here is my gem style guitar body. Now, I already did a few steps to prepare the wood for paint, um, which I'll get to in just a moment. Uh, but keep in mind that my plan is to do a swirl paint finish. So the process that I'm taking may be a little excessive uh, for some of your projects. It really depends on what your plans are for your paint finish. But let's first take a look at what items you'll need to prepare the guitar for paint. You will need some sandpaper. Now this is just some regular 220 grit sandpaper and I will be using this throughout the entire process. Some sanding sealer. Now this is just some lacquer sanding sealer that comes in a spray can. Now I did have a difficult time finding this in store so you may need to order it online. But I will uh, place some links below to all the items uh, in case you do have a difficult time finding any of the, the products here. Some wood filler. Now I removed the label a while ago but here's a picture of what the bottle should look like. Now this is just some water based wood filler made by Timbermate. Now what's nice about this, you can dye the filler to any color you like. And some foam brushes. Now this is used to apply the wood filler onto the guitar body. So like I mentioned, I already completed a few steps in the prep work. Uh, the first thing that I did, when this was bare wood, I took some 220 grit sandpaper and sanded down the entire body. This was able to knock down any rough edges and actually left a pretty smooth finish. The next thing that I did was spray a few coats of the sanding sealer. Now I sprayed some on top, waited for that to dry, turned it over, sprayed it on the bottom and on the sides. Uh, I probably put on maybe like two coats or so. So the next step, the step that I'm actually going to show you is how to apply the grain filler. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is some Timbermate water-based filler and there's, a, there's several ways that you can apply this. You can just use your hands and spread it on. You can use a squeegee to scrape it on. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is actually applying it with the foam brush. So after I apply the first coat of wood filler, I'm going to let it dry, sand it down with a 220, and I'll probably put one more coat of the wood filler. And after that's dry, I'll do another sanding. And I'm just using a soft sanding block with 220 grit sandpaper wrapped around it. Now the reason why you want to use wood filler is that you want to fill in any deep grains or holes or any kind of imperfection in the wood so that when you put on your, your final paint finish, you're going to get a glass-like surface and that's what's, what's really going to give you that professional look. Okay, so here's the Timbermate wood filler. So it comes in a putty like this. Now it is water-based, so if this ever dries out, all you need to do is add some water and it will rejuvenate the product. So the nice thing about this product is that you can actually dye this to any color you would like. So if you're going for a translucent uh, paint finish where you can actually see the grain of the wood, uh, you could dye this down to a, a darker finish and that will actually fill in the grain and really make it stand out. Now what I'm doing, I'm going with a, a pretty flat finish so uh, you're not going to see any part of the wood so I'm just leaving it in its natural color. So the way you want to use this is you just want to scoop out a little bit and thin it out with some water. So I'm putting it into this bowl right here. And I'm gonna mix it in with some water. Now you kinda of want it not too thick, but not too thin. Um, I am using the, the foam brush to apply this, so I don't want it too runny. If you do put too much, you don't need to throw it out. You could just let the water evaporate and then put it back into that tub. This product will never expire. So you're just going to want to play around with this until you feel like you have uh, the consistency that you want. All right, so I feel like this is a little bit runny, so I'm going to add some more. All 
All right, so this is pretty good. This is what I'm gonna leave it at. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a melted milkshake right now. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this wood filler to the top first. Now what you want to do is first apply it with the grain and then across the grain. This will ensure that the filler actually gets into the grain and creates a smooth surface. Okay, now I'm going to apply it across the grain. Now it doesn't need to be perfectly smooth because this product actually sands really easily. So we're going to be sanding this down once it dries anyways. You just want to make sure that you actually have some even coverage. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and then flip it over and do the back and sides. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and sand it down. Okay, so it's been about an hour and the top coat has uh, fully dried. It uh, feels really chalky right now. So what I'm gonna do is sand the entire body down with a 220 grit sandpaper and then I'm gonna go ahead and reapply wood filler. Uh, this should give me a very, very smooth finish um, smooth enough for me to move on with the painting process. Okay, so that should give you a good idea on how to prepare your guitar for paint. Now I am going with a swirl paint finish, which I'll show you on the next video, but hopefully this video has helped you get ready for that. And if you have any questions, check out my website, fredin.com, for more details. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.